Hi guys and welcome to another video on my channel. On a previous video we saw how I make this preamplifier and I also explain a bit the schematic. So in this video we're gonna do some tests. But before starting with the test let me tell you that I did some modification because it's still in prototype mode and as I mentioned I designed it and I want to get the best result from this preamplifier. So I needed to do some modification to the PCB board and also to the schematic in order to get these good results. So without further ado let's go to my working bench and start doing these tests. Let me first explain the setup what I have here. So I have the signal generator set up to 1 kHz and the amplitude now is in low. Then I have the power supply which is set up with 21 V, like uh, how many volts I'm powering the amp comments on pass amplifier. And I have channel 1 which is the red on the input, so properly output from the signal generator, and the yellow, this channel 2, on the output from the preamplifier. Volume potentiometer is set up between impedance preamplifier input and corrector de ton. And then I have here on the input difference impedance. So I have one input with 10k and the other input with 1k, which I have two preamplifiers here. I cannot test the microphone preamplifier because it's a resistive uh, microphone. And I check all the microphones that I have around here are only capacity microphones. So let's just test these two inputs with the impedance, with different impedance with 10k and 1k. So I set up already to the 10k and let's see how it performs. So I'm gonna put the potentiometer volume on max and I just let you know that uh, the highs and, and bus are on the middle, both of them. So this is the way that you can test. You don't need to go a max from them. So just keep them in the middle. And now let's amplify the signal on the input and let's see what's going on. But first, let me just power the preamplifier. So the preamplifier now is on, so let's go with the until we get the distortion. So the clip is there. So practically I have 1.5 volts on the input and on the output I have 2.9. So almost doubling the signal from the input to output like that you, when you connect the amplifier it will gonna have enough uh, signal to drive the amplifier to the max uh, performance. On this uh, 10k uh, impedance, you can connect various uh, things like a computer and a stereo deck and so many things. And then let's swap the input to the 1k, which is the other preamplifier, and let's see how that performs also with the 1k. Now we are in 1k impedance, which is very good for the mobile phones. And now let's see how that performs. So let me turn on the preamplifier. So already with the low, 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 which we have just so we are there so we have 400 millivolts input and the output is 2.9 it's almost uh, seven times amplifying the signal which is really good for the amplifier so amplifiers usually are taking on the input from 1.5 volts up to 2.5 volts so it's the perfect amplifier to drive an amplifier you can see the signal is clean. This is very low because, as I say, it's just 400 millivolts on the input, so the sensitive is very low. But I can increase it for here, and we can see. But well, see, it's a bit noisy because with that very low sensitivity, it's picking up a lot of noise. But on the on the output, the signal is not any more noisy. You can see it's really clear. So I'm really happy with how that performed. Let me now to show you on the schematic which modification I did during the building this uh, preamplifier and I'm gonna let you know why I did also that uh, modifications. Okay, so let's have a look on the schematic and explain which modification I did and why. So first modification, this is the preamplifier with the impedance of 10k and this is the preamplifier with the impedance of 1k. So from the 10k I move the output capacitor emitter and I, I start having better results. On the beginning when I was in the collector, it was, uh, the amplifier factor was very low and I didn't get so results that I wanted. Once I swapped the capacitor to the emitter, the results were better. Same I did also from the 1K input. Instead of having the capacitor on the collector, I move it to emitter and I get better results also here. And on the output, I did an error because if I connect the capacitor on the collector, I should have a resistor from the positive to the collector. Here is my error, so 
you know, not everybody are uh, perfect, but anyway, then I swap this capacitor from the emitter and I get the results that I needed. I'm really impressed with the performance of this preamplifier and taking in consideration that everything is designed by myself and with the little tricks I managed to make it uh, work really nice. Then on the next part of this project that I'm working on on this desktop monitor audio amplifier, it's gonna be when I'm gonna mount this preamplifier inside the chassis and I'm gonna do all the connection and I'm gonna do also a sound test. So please don't forget to subscribe, activate the notification bell like that you'll not miss that video. And until the next video guys, have a good day and bye bye!